Okay, this is for all the US Android TV customers that have purchased from me basically from like June of 2017 up until like October 1st of 2017. The build is still the same, but one of the problems that we're having is, is if you notice your widgets or above your TV shows and your movies, the boxes disappear, your quick access. Or if you go into TV shows and search, and you search something, it goes blank. Well, the reason for that is, is Elysium is supplying an, an API key which allows you to search and index whatever you're looking for as well, give, uh, as, well as give shortcuts to all those widgets. So I'm going to do a real quick tutorial on, you know, again, if you're one of my customers or even if you have um, Elysium as your main, you, you know, your main add-on on your Kodi program, I'm going to show you how to never have that problem again. It's extremely simple. So for my customers or for other people, it's the exact same thing. What you want to do is you want to go to a PC as we've done here or, you know, uh, your Apple or whatever you want to do. And you want to go to Google. Uh, from there, you want to go to the search engine and you simply want to type in TMDB. That's Tom, Mary, David, Boy. And don't worry about any of this stuff right here. Just click enter. And the very first thing it pulls up is the movie database, TMDB. And as you can see, you have clickable links down here. So what we're going to do is we're going to sign up. Now, I've already signed up for one, so when I click it, it's going to pull up my account information. But we're going to go ahead and delete that, and I'm going to show you how to create, you know, whatever one that you want. So let's go ahead and create uh, a new account. We'll call it uh, uh, US Android TV. And we'll make a password real quick, which I'm going to go ahead. Well, no, I don't need to pause. I know what I can do. Confirm password. Yep. And then you put in an email. And I've, I've done this now for about a month, and I haven't gotten any spam from them. So I, I think you're pretty clear. So you want to put in a valid, good email address. So we're going to put in the old info at usandroidtv.com and basically that's it uh, I'm gonna click sign up and it's gonna ask you want to remove your password if you're run, run, running Windows 7 or higher um, and whatever and basically right here it's gonna say uh, account verification required now what you have to do is, is you have to go into your email provider and they will have sent you a link to activate or verify your account uh, so we're going to go ahead and pause the video here for a second while I retrieve the email and then we'll resume. So this will give away my age, but as you can see in the top left hand corner, I am an AOL customer. <laughs> but it actually ended up in my spam folder. But as you can see in my spam folder, there's nothing in here, uh, the movie database, as well as there's nothing in my inbox for the movie database. But the most important thing is that activation email. So when you go to your email, if it's not in your inbox, Check your spam, check your trash, because it'll be there. It's instantaneous. It's less than 30 seconds. So I go ahead and I click that. And then if you want to read the email, you can. But basically, you have to click this blue link down here. You click the blue link, and it'll open up another window, and it'll ask you for your login. So if you remember your login, you go ahead and hit your, your login information. And then down at the bottom right, there's a login button. You click that. And now I'm now a US Android TV client through the movie database. So from there, I need to remember where we have to go uh, to get the API key. So what I'm going to do is look for it. Here it is, API. If I click API, and I think it says um, API. Overview, terms of use. Let me check here real quick. I'm sorry to make this longer. I might pause it because there's a couple steps, but it's not it's not a huge deal. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause it until I find the correct link. So hang on, I'll be right back. All right, my memory's not what it used to be, but I found it. So a couple more steps. You've logged into the the movie database. You're going to simply click your whatever you start usually it's a first letter of your profile so if you were uh, John for example there'd be a J there but since we're US Android TV it's a U you click that 
it gives you some options and what you want to do is you want to go to edit profile now this is actually really a cool thing because you can put all your stuff in here and this site actually allows you to contribute reviews, ratings, all that stuff, um, and update information and everything um, on this movie database, which is really neat. I've started dabbling with it a little bit, and you know it's really neat. So on with the on with the video. Um, as you can see, we're under my edit profile, the U.S. Android TV. I've got some options over here. But what, again, we're looking for is API, which is second from the bottom, and you click that. Um, and then very easily request an API key to generate a new API key. Click here, and that's a clickable link, so I go ahead and click that. And it's going to ask me if I'm a developer or if I'm a professional. Well, you have to choose developer. Professional is if you're going to start selling and, you know, be massive and all that. But developer even though it says it's ad supported you never see any ads on the Cody build so we click developer and it says approve the terms of use if you want to read all of that um, which I have uh, you can but basically it says you're not going to abuse it and you're not going to distribute it and you're not going to make money off of it and all of that and as you can see it was updated on July 28th of 2014 so their agreement's been around for a while and hasn't changed. So you hit accept, and then it asks you to fill out this form. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to fill out some information here. Uh, application name, for example, would be, I don't know, you can put anything here, US uh, Android TV or whatever your login was. Um, application summary. Um, I, I always put on here to review movies and TV shows. Uh, first name, if you want to put your, I mean, th again, everything's pretty much confidential, so you can, you know, we're not going to get the information. The only people that's going to have it is TMDB. So you can put in your information and um, your address and all of that, and you're good to go. So I'm going to pause it for a second. I'm going to fill in some information, and then I'm going to click submit. So hold on one more second for me. So after you're done, basically, all you do is, is you're going to hit submit, and that's going to do your form. Uh, validation error application URL is required. I'm not sure what that means. Oh, um, you want to do the drop down. I'm sorry, I forgot about this. You want to do the drop down as a mobile application because basically your box is like a uh, like a tablet. So I'm going to hit submit again, see if it asks for the application URL again because I had it on desktop before. Yeah. Uh, application URL is required so um, I'm gonna pause it for a second to the video. so I, I want to I made some mistakes and I want to make sure that I cover them so I don't have to edit later again at the very top of request an API key form we're gonna select mobile application um, you know your application name can be whatever you want it to be your name or your pets name or whatever if it if it directs you for an application URL go ahead and put in my website which is https colon forward slash forward slash www.usandroidtv.com and again on the summary I have to review movies and TV shows and then you fill in your information and you're going to hit submit and hopefully this time will be good. Success. It says success up in the right hand corner. I know we weren't quick enough to get it. That's you know one of the drawbacks that I'll deal with on high speed internet. But as you can see right here um, we have an API key now. Uh, version 3 is the one that I believe that we need to use um, because this is just a read access token. So here's exactly what I would enter on my box if I were a customer that had bought from me or another customer. I would enter this long code on my Kodi program which is going to be the part 7 video of this how to input this number onto your Cody program because as you can see it's a huge number but that API key will stick with this account and you're good to go so that will conclude the computer part program part of using the getting the API key through the movie database if you're using Elysium if you have any questions please feel free to comment or email me uh, if you're on YouTube you can comment and I'll make sure I answer it for you 
but it's really like a six or seven step process and then you've got an account, you've got an API key, and then everything will work. So for now, I'm gonna conclude the video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if this is helpful. Leave a comment and please subscribe to my channel. We'll see you in just a little bit for the part eight of this video, which is uh, doing it on the actual Cody program. Thanks for watching.